Hey guys, it's time for a story. Today's story is Be Kind. The story is written by Zitlo Miller and is illustrated by Jen Hill. I'm excited to read this story because the cover page is so nice. Blue is my favorite color and it is blue and then there is an addition of purple and yellow. What a bright yellow is this. I like it. So the book is written by Pat Zitlow Miller and it's illustrated by Jen Hill. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is my inside cover and it's just plain purple. But it looks nice, right? Okay. Once again, this is my inside cover, but here there's a different picture. This picture is of an ice cream girl. And this little girl is buying an ice cream cone from her. All right. Once again, it talks about who the writer is, who the author is, and who has written, who has drawn the pictures. Okay. So I see a little girl in this picture and a chair knocked down. And I see a little girl who's wearing a nice dress, but the dress is spoiled by some jewels. And it reads, Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. All over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did, too. But mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried not to. I don't think it worked. I said, purple is my favorite color. I thought Denisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin or let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving. Making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone or letting someone with smaller feet have my tight shoes. He might win races in them, maybe. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink. Cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots. Asking the new girl to be my partner. Listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I have heard before. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle. Thank you. Bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Carla. What's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mandelbaum. Being kind can be hard too, even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky. 
even when I am patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Maybe I can solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. And together, they could grow into something big. Something really big. So big that all our kindness fell out of our school. Spread throughout the town. Travel across the country. And go all the way around the world. Right back to Tanisha and me, so we can be kind again and again. That's it. I like the way Tanisha is putting that picture made by her friend. Thank you for listening, guys.